hii maisha ya kacha inabadilisha mtu sana tunaweza fika kila mahali si hapo my memory mostly kukuja na vile tu tulikuja na hivyo na ndege tunajisikia mzuri sana Over the years, UNHCR has collaborated with visual artists and musicians in its efforts to get important messages out to members of the public. In early November, a unique art exhibition took place at the Alliance Française. 14 artists displayed their work which laid bare their impressions on life away from home. The main goal of, of this institution is to promote cultural diversity, to promote other cultures, and, and that's why uh, all the artists and the refugees are, are at their place here at the Alliance Française. People from all walks of life stepped into a space defined by budding artists keen to share their views on life. Each artist told a powerful and profound personal story. We can teach for art many things uh, about living together, about peace, many agitating you can do with art. Most of the time I do, I'm communicating with my art about my life, what happened. Even I, I, again, I speak about my country, people. The way we see, it has a meaning, this, this more art, like this one. Instead of sitting idle, maybe do something. Something you witness, you cannot forget. It's, you can keep it in your mind as a memory. And a person who never seen it, when you draw, will take a look for it. Or maybe will, will ask you about it. What is the meaning of this and you can tell. Nimeanza 1992, <laughs> 1992 pakasei kwa mimi mdogo sana. Inanisaidia kwa mambo ya mbani, chakula, nini, kama ni kubai uniform ya watoto kitu inanisaidia. Ina everything. Kina Victor amenisaidia huku tunajulikana sisi vizuri kazi tulikuwa tunafanyia tu kakuma kijiji nini hakuna wenye wanatujua vizuri I have met uh, excellent artists uh, who are doing a lot with very few resources uh, we started the program sometime this year uh, we've had three workshops with them and um, I've really been impressed by the level of skill they have uh, their growth and uh, this exhibition is proof that uh, with a lot of support uh, they can go places. The first group was student artists, so we had a classroom setting for them because we wanted to really teach them the basics of art. Then we had the advanced artists who we didn't have a classroom setting, but we had a sort of a mini studio for them, give them the materials, they were able to work uh, with the tools that they needed, and so they had a studio setting where they were able to work. Then the third group was the, the Hina ladies, uh, and for them, we just provided the materials. They, they are excellent artists because they do this commercially every single day or ever so often. And so those three settings were able to help the three different group of artists uh, be able to come up with the artwork that you are able to see today.
make a comment on the work that we saw on the walls. I'm just interested to, to hear what you thought. You have somebody who is a fantastic artist, does fantastic work, happens to be a refugee. A panel discussion that brought together key players that include UNHCR, the government of Kenya, Filmaid, Kenyan artists and refugees painted a picture of the enormous talent refugees have and unlimited possibilities through such initiatives. I was very impressed with the, by one of the very, very powerful artists uh, who were able to carve out uh, very beautiful uh, animal souvenirs uh, inside something else that is used for sitting, for example, a chair. You sit on a chair that is uh, full of uh, elephants, full of uh, giraffes, uh, animals, uh, the, the African savanna. For me, when I, when I look at you know, the piece, I feel that that person is, is talking to me. They're telling me who they are. For example, I saw a way of life. I, I could even tell what came from the dub and what came from Kakuma because it was an expression of who they are. Somebody must start from any nothing. Then it will be something. Yeah, that is why the way if we come here now we show this exhibition. I wanted to be the bridge to be somebody they can open up to, you know, because most of them, they have their own personal stuff. Their music is so personal and they want to tell their stories. Some of these songs, people might not allow them to sing, you know, because some, some want to sing about war. Some want to sing about how his sister was stabbed in, 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 in South Sudan. But then most of the time when events are there, you're told there's a theme, you know, like, Hey, we want you guys to sing about malaria. So that means they are not, there's no freedom. And like Victor said, it's a therapy. So if you don't let this guy sing about somebody who stabbed his sister, that thing is burning in him. And one day when it comes out, if he can't sing about it, it stabs somebody for real. Kama wewe hujuki dance au sita leta wewe huko lakini mama ana anajua wewe una dance nzuri ama anashukula wazana sita wanakuja ku dance hapo tuko sita tu wakati tulikuja kuona watu wengine sijaona sijawahi kuona huko wako hata ujimi hata hata ujuzi na yake ni mfurahi kuona I'm a big fan of of Hina uh, when i say that some of them draw better than me they actually women they, they don't sketch, they don't do anything, they just draw, their hand just goes. And I felt like uh, just borrowing from other models outside there that I've worked, why don't you have henna on canvas? Uh, let's not restrict henna to only uh, cultural or religious festivals. Let's have this um, on, on canvas and let's see if we can, they can be able to make a sale. Let's think of, of, of branding on, on t-shirts, you know, let, let's take it to the next level. We expect uh, partners, we expect artists to also come, come up and say yes, we too want to, want to help, we too want to participate in the initiative. The more artists we will have, the better. It gives them an opportunity to tell their story, what happened to them. Maybe to begin in a sense to um, recover from some of the tragedies that they may have faced. So it gives them an opportunity to express their biggest fears, but also their deepest dreams and their hopes. It is very much something other partners can support and should support and in fact the United States is supporting it. I think it's a very important initiative and I think it's an initiative that needs to find more partners. Um, some of the art spaces in Nairobi for example would be interested to partner with this program to be able to share artists and exchange with, with those artists who are in the camps. We want to continue to groom, support and give opportunities to all artists who have talent to express themselves. Uh, using this opportunity and any other opportunity, but more importantly, we want people, the general public here in Kenya, the, the, the international community to know how talented some of the refugees who are here in Nairobi, in Kakuma or Dadab are, and to understand that they should be supported, that they should be helped, and that their art is also worth buying. 
I'm doing art not for myself or for somebody, but I'm doing for the entire world. Tuna imani ya kuenda kila maali.